This felt really random. This I, came I, out of nowhere. I have no idea. I didn't who did think this. it was real when I, I thought saw this was a joke. Tweet. No, I thought it was a joke. There is a movie coming to theaters. Theater. This is a theatrical release. I'm gonna see if I can find any more info. About a this. movie talking about Pharrell Williams' life, right? So the iconic producer Pharrell. Not only so that's fine. Like make a Pharrell movie, that'd be dope. But it's not just a Pharrell movie. The Pharrell movie is in Lego. It's a Lego animated movie about Pharrell Williams. Yeah. So on Friday, Grammy winning multi hyphenate Pharrell Williams announced that he was set to produce Piece by Piece, a new film chronicling his life story told entirely through Lego brick animation. I understand. I get it. But it's like such a weird medium. And I, I've. I'm like glancing through this interview, right? And I'm looking at it. And and it seems like he wants to do a biopic, but dance around the idea of casting someone else as him and just be different. Because like, right. obviously biopics are the new hit thing. Because Elvis did really good and there are some mm-hmm. others that did really good. You got Elvis and so Weird and like Oppenheimer. Definitely... And like- it's definitely going to stand out. It will definitely uh, be sure. different. <laughs> but is Pharrell like a family friendly artist? No. <laughs> Pharrell because, has like, most, a lot of the songs he's worked on have been with like, like he's a legendary producer. Cause so he's worked with like Snoop Dogg and like, um, he produced Milkshake. Do you know Milkshake? Nope. The uh, my milkshake bring all the boys to the yard. No way. <laughs> yeah, Pharrell made that song. What? Yeah. He also made um. You know, drop it like it's hot. He made drop it like it's hot. Um. He he produced um Tokyo Drift. Um. I didn't know this. Yeah. So this is new he, information to me. He has an iconic. This is what I mean. Pharrell is truly an icon. He has a producer tag but it's not like a normal like tag like a voice he does a four bar count in on any song that he produces so like on drop it like it's hot when it does the boom 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 like that count in is his tag or on milkshake it'll go like do or like or you know tokyo drift or it goes bing 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 yeah that's his thing is to do the four bar count or on happy when it goes do, 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 do. It might seem crazy. Like that's his thing. Yeah. So he's worked on like a ton of these incredible, like he is truly like an iconic producer has done so many things like solo and with groups and whatever. He made all the despicable me soundtracks, which is, you know, W, you know, what a guy he's really captured the medium on that one. But why Legos? Like, what's the connection? Like, I just need an explanation. I'm not mad. I'm just a little confused. Yeah, like, this is a weird me. Here's, here, I'm telling you right now. Mid-October, when that movie drops, we're going to get a Pharrell Williams icon skin in Fortnite, and it's going to have the Lego version for Lego Fortnite. I'm, dude. Pharrell coming crazy. to the, the festival? Yo. I'm saying it's I'm all just right saying. there. I'm saying. Honestly, here's the thing. Like, biopic movies are huge right now. And, you know, I- I'm not opposed to them switching it up. Like, weird, the Al Yankovic story did the exact same thing, where they did, like, a parody of a biopic, which was very right. on brand for Weird Al. The thing is here, like, is this on brand for Pharrell to do Legos? Like, am I missing something here? I almost wonder if they're trying to keep Lego movies relevant because the next one isn't ready yet. Like, I know they're rebooting the Lego movies, I think, with Universal. Mm -hmm. Um, And I wonder if the Universal Lego movie isn't ready yet. But they want to, like, keep Lego movies in the zeitgeist of people going to the theaters. So, I don't know. I'll probably end up going to see it. 
just even if it's just to see how it is like right right i'll probably even get a couple to, people from small group to be like hey you right, guys want to go see the you know? lego pharrell movie <laughs> yo he did rock your body there's i was no like going way. through the pharrell songs i knew in my head yeah and i could hear and I, now i'm not going to be able to unhear the four, four yeah the four bar counting thing. he did all right um with kendrick lamar i like his yeah. um marilyn monroe album or no that's not what it's called um is it just called it's Girl? called something else i think so is that the one where it's like yellow and he's got I don't, the mm, is that he's the one got, where he's the in the girls sauna? are on the yeah yes Hold i on. think that's girl he did feels with Katy perry um uh, and a ton of other yeah people. it's from the album that happy is on yes yeah i mean pharrell's a really humble guy is he not i think he is as far as i can tell i really liked him when he was on the voice dude you know what this means though is we might get daft punk lego in, on the big screen because he did one of his biggest songs is get lucky which is a daft punk song that he produced like was on man so that we would might be a dream come through true for you wouldn't it for me like dude i kid you not i'll have to find a picture and post it somewhere i have i made my own lego daft punk figures and Dude, i that, put them <laughs> and i built them a little a little like dj booth and i put them on our lego mall and they were called the dj brothers and they like played all the mall all the music for the mall and it was like a whole narrative it was a whole thing and then he that, like that's crazy there was like a donut shop in the mall and like one of the lady i think I don't know if she had an affair with one of the DJ brothers or like, or if they were just flirty or what, but like one of the like shop owners, his wife like was connected to them in somehow it was wild. Yeah. I don't know. Um, I'm going to go see it. That's, uh, that's, that's something <laughs> I'm not opposed. You know what that I sounds like unique. to me, it what? sounds to me like a great first date movie. <laughs> <laughs> like, Hey, we've been talking for a while. You want to you want to go out and see, go the see Lego the Pharrell? Pharrell? Movie? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, like, it can't get any worse. My first date ever was me and this girl I talked to in high school, <laughs> and we went to see Venom with Tom Hardy. Oh, <laughs> that was that was that our first date. Garbage. We dated for two and a half months, and then uh, she broke up with. Oh. Him.